Chicago police are investigating several armed robberies they now believe are connected. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli reports from Avondale tonight with new surveillance video we've just obtained. CPD issued an alert to residents today warning them to be vigilant after armed robberies reported on the city's northwest side. Those allegedly all happening on Wednesday and Thursday this week with one right here where we're standing. This right here is a map of the location CPD says armed suspects targeted people walking. In each incident, at least two or three males estimated to be between the ages of 15 and 25 got out of the car demanding the victim's property. They were said to be wearing ski masks, dark clothing and armed with handguns. According to CPD, the suspects were driving a 2018 white Kia sedan. You can see on video here on Wednesday afternoon along the 2900 block of North Milwaukee. The suspects pull up in a white sedan. At least two people appear to run out after the victim who a woman who witnessed it says was visiting the travel agency. A witness tells WGN the man was struck in the face by the suspects running to ask for help after. You can see the suspects running back over to the white Kia eventually taking off with police flooding the area just minutes later. We spoke with a nearby business owner who says he feels safe in the area but is disappointed to hear of what happened. Pretty shocked. Um, my brother and I were both here working. We had the door open and didn't really realize much of a commotion. Um, which is kind of alarming, knowing that, you know, it's broad daylight and we were all here. Police haven't said whether the victim in any of the crimes was injured, but a witness says the victim here did seek medical treatment after the incidents. As for the crimes, the armed robberies on West Wrightwood, North Milwaukee and North Pulaski all happened on Wednesday, with the other three happening Thursday. Chicago police are asking anybody with information on these incidents to reach out to them. You can either submit a tip anonymously online or give detectives a call. And they also remind if you ever find yourself in a situation like this, not to resist. Reporting in Avondale, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.